Hi friends, I'm back again. This is Corky, the Plum Creek Booksmith, and I have another journal to share with you. This is another ledger book that I've turned into a junk journal. Um, I'm, I've named her Grandpa's Ledger, and mainly because it's a kind of a masculine feel. Um, I do have some um, trim on the, on the edges, but basically it's kind of mas masculine. Um, so I gutted this original ledger book. It is 13 tall, 13 inches tall, and eight across. And it's just about maybe an inch spine. I didn't want to remove the spine, so I used the original book cover. Um, it's one signature. I have um, cleaned up as best I could, and then I sealed the outside cover with a matte. No, 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 it's gloss, a gloss medium. It's in good shape, and it was from 1903. It says Ledger 1903. So we'll get started. I guess I need to go back a little bit because it's pretty big. I have, like I said, one signature and there are 30 pages in this each sig in the signature. So it's 120 pages. The front inside cover, I've made a little flap. Well, I guess there's two flaps here. There's a flap here and it opens up and there's a, a pocket here, a place to write here. The pocket inside here holds some vintage travel postcards. I just thought it went with the theme. Grandpa probably liked to do some traveling. Um, this is from San Marino, California. I just love this. It has um, like a 30s, 40s feel and so does this one. Um, City Hall, Los Angeles, California. I just love this. There's no writing on these. These were probably just collectors. Um, and then this one also is from the Los Angeles area. And it's from, it says, An Interesting Corner in Alvera Street, Los Angeles, California. And then on the back it tells a little bit about that, that street. This one has in, has some servicemen um, gathering here, and it says, Welcome servicemen, free, can, free canteen. So I'm guessing that's hmm, probably World War II era, maybe World War I. I. I'm sorry, I'm not much of a buff on that. I should be, but uh, I'm not. Okay, then this bottom flap it flaps open to give you some more storage or writing space. I didn't make a pocket or a fixed pocket out of it, mainly because I wanted this pocket to be a little more uh, flexible and free to, to open up so you can see that there's more storage space and there's vintage invoices and the like in here that all of these, all of the ephemera in these pockets are vintage, authentic. Okay, so then on this other flap, is there's a pocket here with a part of a time card here. So there's extra space to journal. And I have a little um, tab here that you can easy, easily grip because when I had it in there be without the tab it was really hard to get a hold of that um, time card. So there's a place to journal here. This is from an old, um, I think it's, um, I'm not sure, I think it's a, an old Christian book and I loved how modeled it is. All the pages are modeled like that. Um, then on the top part of this little flap is a picture of Grandpa, I think, and his grandson. And uh, there's a, he, it's a little pocket and it holds a clock face. So you can journal on the back of that. Um, this is an old um, measuring tape that I've made a little tab out of. And then I put this 
funky little tool on it that I think Grandpa needs and it helps to weight down the page when you turn it and all. So, oh, I don't, did I say that there's a pocket back here? And it holds another tag. It's filled primarily with other ledger paper and then there's some book pages and some digital pages. So we'll go through here fairly quick. This is um, a little church visitor pin. Remember getting those when you visited, what, like you were on vacation and you went with your cousins to Sunday school. Then you got a little pin like that. Um, this is an old ledger page from a locker rental. And then I flipped it up on itself because it was a pretty, pretty long book. If this is 13 and then this was another, what, two or three inches onto that so it was a it was a long skinny ledger book and here's some authentic this is an authentic invoice and then here's just a ledger page that's folded upon itself and it's tucked into this little pocket and then I just I got a hold of some really cool ephemera that a friend of mine was cleaning out some of her dad's things and had a lot of these little tickets so I I did my little paper punch deal that causes this to flip over on itself and makes a little stapler kind of thing, only it's a pa paper. It, it works on itself. No metal involved there. Cool little antique shop find. This page is fun. I, th I think it was from the original book. So what they did was they took these index pages and they put the names of people who had accounts with them. So the A, B, there's Brown, Billing, Billingsley, Burnett, and another Brown on that page. And then you would know where to go. Page 17 has this account. And then C, D, E, and F hold all of these, and then you'd know what page to go in within the book to see their account. I thought that this needed to be within, and it's not part of the signature um, sewing in. It's tipped in. So, oh, I probably better make sure those stay. Just realized those aren't very secure, so... I will fix that. Okay, and then here's another uh, ledger page. This is just a notebook that was tall and skinny. So I take some of the pages out of that someday when I need tall and skinny pages. There's a little flip out. This is a top of an old book, one of those headbands. And here's another part of that um, index with all the names. And then this paper I love. It's something that I like to print myself. It looks like old sheet material. And there's a little pocket I put a, a little bird card in right there. Here's some more of those little receipts and I put them to pin them together with a rusted sequin pin but I've also glued it on so it looks like it's a little tab and then you can write on the back of this one. There's a flip out. I've had to make a few Franken pages where you know they they weren't large enough so they get glued together. And this is an original pa page, two pages out of the book, um, paid by, I think it says James Johnston, but I don't know what that word is. And then it says dollars in full. This January 29th, 1904, J.B. Ladd. I don't know what that says there. So that was like the first page of the book. And then it opened up and that's another page. And then there you go. So pay attention to this little strip of canvas. It's a really lightweight canvas strip. 
It's part of the binding of the book. I use part of that in another place in the journal. Um, here's a big old envelope, and I just put some original ephemera inside. Music staff page. There's a map page. This was fun. I got an old uh, zip code, United States zip code book, and it's perfectly patinaed, and I just tore out the center page, or didn't tear it out, I lifted out the center page to be part of a page in here, and when I got it all put together, I was looking, I was recognizing some of these uh, towns that are from Nebraska, and I picked out the Nebraska page, that's my state, and there, and so I put this little, t um, this little uh, ephemera deal, um, and I put it right under Lexington. So part of me goes with this book. A little music page with a pretty little label that I made. Um, I used the tail end of one of these other ledger pages because I didn't need it all. So it was an off cut. That's what I should have said in the first place. I made a pocket out of it. And so I put this um, copy of an old 1932 envelope. I love the uh, I love the writing on it. So you can use that for extra journaling. And then the pocket opens on the bottom as well. And there's an old price card here. I'm going to use those up. And then the middle has a key to Grandpa's safe deposit box. But we can't find out where it was, so we don't know where. Maybe the new owner will be able to find the safe deposit box and find a treasure. There's the other side of the zip code page, map, music staff, ledger, ledger. There's a coin on that one, little fabric tab. Here's the other side of that big envelope. And then I, I tipped this in. It's an, another ledger page. It's a little fragile, so that's why it's not part of the signature. Um, it's tipped in, so it's protected that way. You can probably use that as a tuck spot here. And then this is another offcut of another ledger page. And so that opens up for more journaling space. This page is from the eight, late 1800s Plum Creek, First Bank of Plum Creek, Nebraska, which is my town before it changed to Lexington. But this is very old paper but is so thick and good but I think I did I still I still um, protected the the fold I, I strengthened the fold because I think when it folds especially in a book it, it loses a little bit of strength so it needs a little help so the rest of it's on the other side so and there's another one of those ledger pages that are just a little bit fragile so I wanted to just use those as tip-ins. You can still write on them. I printed on them these real pretty graphic um, flowers sketches. Another ledger paper. Ledger page. This is one of Grandpa's Western shirt um, snaps. Or buttons, one of the two. I yeah, it's a snap. I love these. It takes me back in time. And there's another one of those fragile ledger pages that I printed on. Printed a beautiful floral picture. And this is a ledger page from a men's club it's um, odd fellows I think is the the club and so 
within this book, if, if one of the members died, then they would put like a letter to explain why there's no more dues coming in <laughs> from Carl. So Carl passed away May 15th, 1964. And so this is the letter of acknowledgement and it has a raised seal on it. And I had to reinforce this um, masking tape. It had lost, and it, you know, it, and so I glued it in. And here's some canceled checks that I just have just hanging over that page. <clears throat> A little button with some ticking fabric and tablecloth material. Or it might be curtain material, I'm not sure. And there's the other half of that um, time card and <clears throat> Grandpa's old shoelaces. I just made a little pull tab out of that. <clears throat> and here we are at the back. The back inside has quite a lot of interest going on here. I made a little pocket and there's a pocket here, a pocket here, another canceled check. This is some kind of um, ephemera from 1953. So I stapled that together and it just sits inside this pocket. And here's some more ephemera, just um, when you're running a farm, you know, you've got all of these expense, like fuel expenses and all that. And so that's just going to be tucked into this pocket. Here's another canceled check in this pocket. And that just slides in here. And the rest just hangs over. Get in there, get in there. Okay, and then on the top of this little attache <laughs> fancy word okay so remember I told you about the um, canvas um, book binding so this was on the other this side of the um, book so I just ripped that off because I just like the, the color of it goes well with the the olive green the dark green of this file folder and then also this is a metal plate that is from, let's see, it says, manufactured by Durfee Manufacturing Company, Grand Rapids, Michigan. So I have, there were little holes here, so I have them fixed on here with little brads. And then um, I have a little extra button um, envelope. There's no little buttons in it, extra buttons but it holds some ephemera and then also has some of these um, cigarette collector cards. I think you had to collect them and then you got a free pack of cigarettes or something. <laughs> oh boy, would that go over well now? No, thank goodness. Anyway, so this has a key for weight and um, that just goes around those two little chocolate milk bottle caps. And then I just kind of tuck that there so it doesn't fly all over the place. Oh, and then this is a little watch face. And I have it put on with a paper fastener to the back. I think that is it. And I hope you enjoyed the flip through of my latest journal grandpa's ledger um, if you liked the video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell so you could be notified of upcoming videos i sure appreciate you i hope you have a great day today's the fourth of july so celebrate america love ya bye now